Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. 93, and today we're going to be starting a brand new campaign of Crusader King Sue. And today I'm joined by Eric and Venomax Mangay too, because my name doesn't matter. Shout out, Davidson. God that, damn. That's just because Eric doesn't have a, a YouTube. He ain't one of oh, them fancy YouTube. pants YouTube's children. Dumb YouTubers. hashtag YouTube swag. Oh, yeah, you know. Never that. say that again. Never gonna <laughs> say that again. <laughs> Eric, if I say that again, I give you permission to smack me. I will smack you. I think he'll just subjugate you. Probably. We're both Catholic. Be terrified, son. He will literally convert to paganism just to subjugate you. Oh, man. In real life? Yes. Yes. Eric, please. <laughs> anyway, let's go over who we're playing. All right. So, um, let's start with you, Eric. All right. So... Because this is the Charlemagne DLC, one of us has to play him, so Obviously. I'm going to be Charlemagne himself. Uh, I'm king of West Francia, and also I have control of the kingdom of uh, Frisia. And I'm you know, not saying I'm going to gain Middle Francia soon, but... Yeah, it may or may not happen. Too. All right, uh, Venomix 1K2, who are you playing as? Uh, your boy Davidson is playing as Venice. Because I cower in fear of Eric and don't want to be conquered, so I want to be a pussy and swear feedly. You will eventually. We'll discuss the, the terms of your independence when I take over all of it. Okay. Till then, I'll be making money. <laughs> um, for all you guys that don't know, all I do is play uh, Republics, and I'm pretty good. Uh, all I do is take over the world, and I'm very good. <laughs> all I do is be Roman Africa. <laughs> uh, speaking of Africa, I am playing... I'm playing as the Duke of Ghana, but soon I will be the King of Mali! Not racist at all. Never. Definitely not. But uh, yeah, this will be a good experience to um, show off the new tribal systems that uh, the Shyamane DLC brings with, a, brings with it. Also, snow. Uh, Snow's snow. a thing. Snow. Not, not a thing I have to worry about, really, uh, but... I personally find it disgusting. Well, yeah, because you're all the way down there. Go away. No, I mean, the fact is, like, that white on the really, really it bright gross. green grass, yeah. I agree. Like, in the winter, couldn't they just have, like, I don't know, darkened um, the grass or something, you know? Uh, I play in, I play almost exclusively in Independent Realms mode, so I don't care. Yeah, I mean, it, it affects your combat, though. Yeah. But by the point at which I get there, it literally will not matter. Pay attention. Well, it's winter right now, so... Shh, I don't care. I okay. would never have to care. <clears throat> so I'm probably going to be, like, stuck in the southern hemisphere for, like, the entire game. I'm not saying that by the time you take over Africa, I might have the rest of the world next, but... I mean, probably not. Don't, don't, don't expect to get Spain. Well, um... Shots fired. Let's go. Don't expect to have Arabia. Okay, yeah, can we on pause? Say the magic word, bitch. Dumb. D domino. Close. Dominoes. Closer. Pickles. There you go. Hey, oh, good. Ambition good. to get married. Now, give me a sound. And Hold on. Events for Eric. Not yet. Yeah. Oh, there it is. I was. I called it. A realm divided. As your father Pepin died, he divided the Empire of Franks and left one half to you and the other half to your brother. He's divided the lands in a way to force you to cooperate, but it does not appear to have had its desired effect. The friction is constant, and at every turn, it appears your brother is trying to thwart your plans and weaken your position. You still realize joint kings, but surely this peace cannot last. He will not succeed in his vile schemes. <clears throat> Me and, me and Carloman now hate one another. Just saying, I called that shit. He did. The Lombard Princess. My lord, the power of your enemies is growing steadily, and while your vassals are surely loyal beyond doubt, they would perhaps be prudent to look for alliances outside of the Frankish realm. Uh, I can marry the daughter of the Lombard king. I get a powerful ally. I think it's thrown again of hand due to my brother's devious machinations. Yes, that'll be a good marriage. It is... Respect people's wealth. Hold on. Now another event, Bertranta. My mother has come to me. She speaks of your brother and the rivalry between you. My dear Charles, it reads me that your brother Carlemagne 
uh, Carloman will not support you as he should, but rather has wicked designs on your demands. Rest assured, however, that I shall do all my in my power to help and support you. I've even written to him, asking him to cease his plotting and acknowledge that, with the Romans divided between you, he recognizes the primary rule of the Franks. I fear, however, that he will not listen to me. All right. Um, Yo, why is your mom worrying about that stuff? Because she, she's Mama Charlemagne. Because Mama going to knock you out. <laughs> yeah, send, send your mom to give your brother a timeout. I will. <clears throat> My son Pepin is illegitimate, but perhaps he could grow into a man worthy of ruling the Franks. His body is twisted and he looks frail, but a boy that over, un, overcomes such unfair punishments in life could perhaps become in time an even stronger ruler? Nah. Hold off on it for now. He is now known as the Hunchback. Oh. That's not cool. Well. I don't know about you guys. But I'm going home. Oh, yeah. Alright. South Park reference. I don't even watch the show. Give me a son. One of you. Refuse. Not gonna give you a son. No. I think I'm gonna go on to a, go on to a pilgrimage. Better. Go to Rome and get healed of everything. Yo, wave at Venice to say hi to me real quick. I'll pass on by. All right. Sweet it's a bit out of the way, but you know, you get to see your boy. Your boy. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna meet you up there. Oh, both of you going to Rome? Yeah. Um, I'll meet you in Rome, my friend. All right, meet you in Rome. Me and Eric are chilling out in Rome. Good. I'm looking at my future emperor. Actually, yes. just looking at the streets. Well, no, my journey just began, so. Oh. I'd imagine you take a boat there. A thousand roads lead men forever to Rome. I would hope I take the boat there. That'd be a, an annoying swim. It was well worth the journey. Man, you're there already. Damn. Yeah. Use this. Oh, oh yeah, I walked over. <laughs> and I'm back. Wait, what? Really? Yeah. I didn't even get there yet. I just <laughs> got there. <laughs> you gotta walk faster. I just got to Rome, man. We were supposed to hang out, you know, be homeboys. <laughs> okay, so, um, Eric, you played as, uh, as Charlemagne, right? Right. Uh, did you form the HRE as him before? I have not actually played a game of Charlemagne yet. Ah. Um, be careful, because when you form the, uh, HRE, um, I think the Pope gets, like, half of Italy. So, um, watch out for that. Declare war on the Pope. I will declare war on the Pope. <laughs> Man. What did the Pope ever do to you? Holy Roman than, Empire, everybody. Other than crusade you and constantly harass you to die and hey, all those other things. He's doing that to me. Look, I'm not saying that there might be anti-popes involved. But there might be anti-popes involved. There might be anti-popes involved. For now, I seek to control the Pope. Do they ever fix the Request Crusade thing? I don't know. I don't play as Catholics enough. No one does. No, spy master, don't kill my bastard. Ooh, I gained the honest trait. They should fix some um, Catholics. They should make them better. It, I mentioned it, the game. Like, like, we should preface something here, guys, yeah. that we're going to say a lot of things. We don't mean. You mean the game? Yeah. It's like, for example, oh, damn, I really want my mom to die now. Or, damn, yeah, Nick, both. Nick, I'll, I'll help you, uh... Uh, I'll help you with your, you know, destroying those uh, Muslims, but first I've got to kill the Pope. Man, fuck the Caliph and all Muslims that ever existed. Man, like, these pagans, we need to do more sacrifices. 
know, things like that. I mean, that that one, uh, we always need to do more sacrifices. So. I mean, that one's real. Let's yeah. be honest. <laughs> but um, you can see uh, this game makes it, th it makes you say things. But uh, yeah, it's it's. Don't mind it. Fucking get pregnant already, you bitch. I don't actually... Like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's an example of one of those things we say. Yeah. Like I'm don't worry guys, I'm not actually gonna kill the Pope. Yet <laughs> There it was. I was waiting for Eric <laughs> to say that. <laughs> I was considering it. <laughs> uh, I need a son. Need Just one. subjugate them already. No. Or go on some conquest. Oh wait, you can't conquest people of your own religion, can you? I, I don't think I can. I can not. No, I can't. Oh, I was gonna say because if you can, you know, I conquest those. I counties. need. I need to subjugate them, and well. That's annoying. These, eh, not really. There's only like six uh, places that are the same. So why don't you, me. why don't you subjugate the places, the small little one counties, real quick? Because he needs to get the. Uh, the... I need the um become king of Mali uh, ambition, oh. but in order to do that, I need to have, have a son, son first. Why did you make your ambition have a son? Why not become king of Mali? Because having a son is more important. Let's That's... be real. Let's. That's arguable. You could have a daughter. Mixed silence. <laughs> silence. Says it all. So yeah, I need <laughs> to have a son. Nick is appalled on the way on what you said. How's everyone's progress going? Uh, I'm waiting for something to happen. You can you know you could just go on and attack a Bohemia then. I did. Uh, well, I attacked a revolt, but they were like, nah. Now and the revolt ended. We don't Asturi fix Asturias is looking nice and uh, juicy. No, no Casas Bellies versus Asturias. What about Brittany? No Casas Bellies versus Brittany. Although those those motherfuckers will accept uh, vassalization once they become the upper. Um, no. Absolutely. Yeah, they will. No. They will. Because yes, they they they, they actually win. Not the Jura Empire. I'll make it my Jura Empire. Fine, I'll I'll fabricate claims all along. The only way you can like when you form the HRE, I did this before. The oh yeah, my wife's pregnant. Anyways, what happens? Oh damn it, it's a girl. Fuck you, Eric. <laughs> what happens is all of your kingdoms become uh, part. All the Jura kingdoms that you own become part of the empire. Why do I have the real quick? Why do I have the the, the entry claim to create the founder from the Holy Roman Empire? Anyone who's Catholic and I think has that, honestly. <laughs> Great. But uh, yeah, so let's say you have France, Lotharingia. I'm calling it Lotharingia, and Lombardy. Not those Lothringia. three would it's middle France. Yeah, middle France. Shut yeah. Up. Those no. Would, those would automatically become part of the HRE. I said de jure's would. Middle but France, yeah? Yeah. If you did get out of the Kingdom of Brittany, then it would automatically become part of the HRE de jure. De jure. Then I just need to form- what you're telling me is I need to form the Kingdom of Brittany. Oh no! The po the Pope is possessed! Wow, that's ironic. The Pope! He needs to visit Rome. He loves me! Holy shit. How are the Zunes doing? Zoon! Zoon! Well, they're doing exactly what I did. Abbasid is doing exactly what they did. Let's see. Uh, so you should probably just like only be able to get like one county, and then you might be able to make the kingdom. I would be able to make the kingdom, but money is a thing, unfortunately. Long episode. Uh, it has not even been fifteen minutes. I don't know how long your episodes are. Fifteen minutes. I haven't watched yeah. a single video of yours. Wow. That hurts. Yeah, no problem. 
Damn it, woman. Have a child already. Put the, put the kid in your belly. Put it in. I'm just sitting here waiting for a certain thing to happen. I wonder what that certain thing could be. Go talk to your mother. Maybe she'll know. I could have played as Genoa, I guess. Eh, I don't think they're a duke. No, they're not. No, but you can create the duchy and become the, uh... You could, but that requires money. Oh, not a lot. I could just do the Jew thing. I can't do the Jew thing. More money, more problems. Oh, just to be clear, the Jew thing is, you know, borrow money from the Jews, then expel them from your lands. Yeah. Right. Oh, I, could, I can do that. That's right. You can do that. I'm so used to not being a Catholic. Yes, yeah, Sam. Go do it, damn The it. Lombard Queen. Should I renounce her? Uh, I don't know. Your choice. Make your I know in, I know in history he renounces her. But I'll keep her. Good for you. She's got a claim on Lombardy. I might be able to use that. Stop. What happened? Okay. That's very risky. One of my concubines is still pregnant, and I just had a son. So I'm going to set that other pregnant concubine aside. I cannot. She's pregnant. Damn it. Assassinate her. Oh, boy. Just deal with it. I cannot assassinate Eric. The assassination uh, button. Yeah, plot against her. Plot power is 86, but like literally she's going to give birth like next month. So what? Well, pray it's a girl then. <laughs> will it be a girl? Uh, well, you guys will actually have to find that next episode because we are out of time. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. If you want to see more Critter King Sue, please subscribe to the channel. And most importantly, please share this video with all your friends. Also um, check out Ben Maxman K2. I don't yeah. upload videos too much, but Basically, I plan on it. Um, my boy, where are you? You're in Venice. My boy VenomXMNK2 here, he's also got a channel. I suggest you subscribe to it. I'll put the link in the description or an annotation or something. To you too, my friend. But I am. This is Mercenary93 telling you guys happy ending. I'll see you.